Welcome to episode one of Myth Dusters. In each episode of Myth Dusters, we're going to take popular viral cleaning hacks and we're going to test them out and let you know if they actually really do work. Are they trusted or dusted? Every day I get thousands of DMs and people send me these viral videos asking me if the cleaning hacks work before they want to try them out. So we're going to do them right before your eyes. And if you have a special specific cleaning hack that you use at home that you would like to share with us, drop it in the comments, make sure you subscribe. And if you have one that you like always wondered if that really does work, send it along and we'll see if it works. In this episode, we're gonna be testing shaving cream, which is a popular cleaning hack, as a stain remover. We're gonna test it with red wine and makeup. You know me, I like to use simple everyday, like household products to clean up messes that you might already have on hand. So instead of rushing out and having to buy like a specific stain remover, shaving cream has a lot of myths about it and we're going to test them out. So it has to be shaving foam, it cannot be gel. That's the number one thing here. So we're gonna try some popular stains that people ask all the time to get rid of, red wine and makeup. Here goes nothing. This will probably repel the stain a little bit more. Ooh, it's soaking in. And another very difficult stain that's hard to lift and super greasy is makeup. So this is just like a pressed foundation. It's still greasy and oily. Not quite sure why you'd have makeup on the carpet, but, oh, I guess you, people drip it in the carpet and they're putting it on in the front of the mirror in their bedroom. Ooh. We've let the stain set in for a little bit, just like to give it a little bit more reality. Like you can't always clean up a stain right away. Obviously the best thing that you want to do is soak and soak it up right away and get any of the excess. So that's still pretty wet, even though it's been sitting there for a while. I think it's been like 45 minutes, but, and this isn't necessarily really like, but you're gonna get the excess of anything off. It's not really wet, it's more extra. And it's best when you're soaking up excess to blot, don't rub in. You're just gonna rub stuff, especially with carpet, right down into the fiber. So look, there's still a lot in there. It smells like a winery. So makeup on like uh, carpet is actually, I know I said this earlier, but common, especially like if you have a teenager who does their makeup on a mirror in their bedroom or on the floor in front of a mirror in their bedroom. At least I know that's what my room looked like back in the day. Lots of instruction online say spray it, rub it, and then just like wipe it away and see what happens. So we're gonna test it on like, we'll test both ways, but some of them say spray and let it sit for 20 minutes. I'm gonna die if this works. <laughs> smells like my grandpa, <laughs> you know, <laughs> old man. To me, this is just gonna make the carpet like crusty, but hmm. looks like it's actually maybe lifting it up. But when we blot this up, isn't it gonna just be like crusty or do we rinse it like dab it up? It doesn't look red anymore though. Look at that. <laughs> it's just like painting over it. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, right, now I have a warm like damp cloth just to get out the excess. So this will also stop it from not being crusty. It's totally gone. Like, well, that's crazy. Now that our minds have been blown by the red wine removal in like 30 seconds, let's try this makeup stain. Like how much is shaving cream? Uh, that was $4. Yeah, just interesting, you know, compared to like, cause I would normally use like dish soap and warm water on mm. this type of stain, so. But sometimes you're out of dish soap. Oh. Or you're at a hotel. Or, or you're yeah, at a, at a hotel, such a good idea. And you like spill makeup. Let's see, this isn't lifting as good as the red wine. I can already tell. See this, and makeup is like, an oil-based stain, so it's greasy. Mmm. I think we might, maybe let, 
just rubbed it like right into the carpet. Maybe we'll just let this sit. I would even say if you were at a hotel, if this doesn't work, like shampoo would work better because shampoo cups grease too, right? In your hair. Now we wait a little bit. So for time purposes, I'm gonna treat this uh, makeup stain on this couch cushion first because I have a feeling it's gonna have to sit a little bit longer because the carpet one is still sitting here. See that? So assuming it works, maybe it only works on red wine. Now we'll address this red wine stain on this couch cushion. Lifted it out of the carpet so quick. Let's see if it does the same thing here. So it's also like where the stain is too. It's not just what the stain is, it's like where this is upholstery. It's not carpet, so it's a different material. Oh, I got it all over me. <laughs> okay. Now I have a warm cloth. I don't get how it's doing that. I don't get it. Like it just, it just, you put the shaving cream on it and then it's almost like it just, their shaving cream doesn't turn red to absorb it. Like where does the wine go? <laughs> we need to let this one dry fully though to like make sure because it's a dark surface. But it looks totally gone to me. Like it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it literally doesn't. Look at it. Magic. So the instructions say to let this sit, the shaving cream sit for like up to 30 minutes. We didn't have to do that for the white wine. It really just lifted right away. But this one is a little bit of a trickier stain with the makeup. So we're at the 30 minute mark. I'm just gonna scrub it in, wipe away the excess and see what happens. But it is lifting because see how the shaving cream, the foam is like turning kind of the same color as the makeup. It's still pretty in there though, look. But we might adding a little bit of the water into it might help break it down. The damp cloth. I can still kind of see it. Can you see it on there? It's not as bad as it was, but it's definitely gone. Not all the way here. So let me do a little bit more. Rub it in there. Still tiny, like a little bit, but you can see. But if you were, I think you'd get away if you did left this stain on the hotel room. <laughs> the shaving cream lifted it off. Look it. It's pretty good. I can just see it slightly in the fibers. If I did it again, it probably would come off. And that's the thing too. Sometimes one time doesn't always do it, even with like specific, specially made cleaning products. You have to go over and over a few times. Patience is a virtue. Here's the stain on the upholstery. So I just wanna show how I see. We've let that sit for half an hour. You can still see it in there. I honestly think adding a little bit of the water must like activate whatever the cleaning agent is in the shaving foam. You can still see it, hey? Now I'm adding a damp cloth. Oh, see, totally lifting it onto the cloth. This is just warm water on the cloth. That's still a little bit there. What's surprising me is that it's not making it feel crusty. I would think it's like, it to me, it like has a hairspray element to it. Even though it's nothing like it at all. Okay, there we go, look. So the final result is, is shaving cream as a cleaning agent trusted or dusted? I'm gonna say trusted, except for it wasn't as great on the upholstery for the couch cushion. Just didn't lift it as great, but it did lift it fantastic on the carpet. Thanks for watching our first ever episode of Myth Dusters. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you get notified every time we post a new video. Don't forget to bleach pray love.